talk about first first time home buyers. What did the process look like? Someone coming into your office or calling you? I can relate to my experience. I bought a house. I was 23, and I just recently graduated from University of Oregon, and the interest rates were 18 percent at that time. And I, I bought a condominium in Mission Valley, and it was at that time it was 54 thousand dollars. I recently sold it for 300 thousand, but. There was really no how-to manual on how to buy a house. I had a really bad experience. So when I became when I became a lender, I vowed to change that. I do a lot of hand-holding. Dep depends on the education level of the buyer, but the most important thing I ask them, what is their comfort level? They want to maintain a lifestyle. You know, you have to keep that in mind. You don't want to be house poor. That's a really critical thing. Mm -hmm. You've got to maintain, uh, you know, an uh, active lifestyle in your house. You shouldn't be a bur your house should not be a burden. It should be something that you enjoy coming home to. The first thing I do is um, I ask them what payment they feel comfortable making a month. If they're renting, what are they renting right now? Can they go higher than that? Can they go lower? Or do they want to stay the same? So you get a kind of a ballpark. Is there a, sorry to interrupt, but is there a percentage of one's income that should be used for mortgage that you've seen for housing? Depends on the on the loan program. Um, but in terms usually, of usually, usually it's like 40, uh, like, 43 is maximum, but in the 30s, that's a, usually a safe, a safe level right there. Because you want, you want to have, because you're going to have a car payment, you're going to have insurance, you're going to have taxes, you're going to have groceries, you're going to have all these different costs associated with, you know, what it costs to live. And depending if you're a single income or dual income, it depends on what type of revenue you have from investments or, there's just so many different factors that go into it. But you have to get a, a, an, an idea of their total asset statement, how much money they have available and what, what, what do they bring it on a monthly basis. That's really important to find that out. Then you find out their current debt structure, um, how good their credit is, um, what type of obligations they have, uh, you know, revolving, what type of lines they have, how many lines they have open. But what I, what I wanted to talk about today was one of the things that Guaranteed Rate has is really exceptional. It's an online loan application. Basically, a buyer can go to my, I can email him, and he can apply, on, he or she can apply online they, they, they can they submit the information. They'll know exactly how much they're qualified. They'll tell them what the payment, monthly payment is going to be. They'll actually have AUS, uh, automatic underwriting, approved, and they'll get an approval letter all within an hour. Mm. They'll get a fifty dollar, um, actually get a hundred fifty dollar credit towards their closing costs and a free credit report run by all three credit bureaus. So it's quite an opportunity.